I know you are here so that you can learn about online advertising or lead generation. But I want to get a little bit deeper so that you understand the foundation when it comes to online advertising. And I see just this morning, I saw another ad. I spent so much on lead generation and I generated a lot of leads, but they turn out to nothing. And I understand where the problem lies because many people are going right to lead generation. That is what, what the gurus tell you to do. So, and it will not work and they don't give you the strategies behind it if they even have a strategy or maybe hopefully don't do the same like you going straight to lead generation. So in every business, you need a foundation. When you build a house, you need a foundation so that you can build up and otherwise else will crumble. And now you will say, okay, Annette, uh, when I have all your ads, then just show it to me and then I will be up and running. And I promise you that will not work because you don't know the strategies, how we are using those advertising, how we are improving and what we are doing to get where we came from and where we are. So now when we are talking about online advertising, especially when you are here in the real estate industry, your leads are not working because you have no strategy. You put out a lead generation and hope that hopefully one lead is selling. But today we know that as of 2023, you need at least 62 to 67 touch points before a lead makes a decision if they want to use you as their agent. And when you are running advertising to lead generation so that you can get buyer and seller leads, they will not convert because they don't know who you are. They don't know how you can help them. And that is where our goal number one comes in. You want to start to attract the people do you want to work with and repel the ones you don't want to work with. That means you need to understand who you want to work with. So our A, so our A in our ABC strategy is audience building by attracting the people we want to work with and repel the ones we don't want to work with. That means you need to understand who you want to serve and how you can help them. We are now, that is where we are running videos to our audience, where we are speaking exactly to their problems, wants, needs, objections they are having so that they understand how we can help them when it comes to buying and selling a home. So the first thing we want to do, we want to build an audience. We build, want to build awareness in your market, who you are, what you do, and how you can help them. The second step is, and that is our goal number two, now it comes to lead generation. But before we even can stop any lead generation, we need to understand who we want to serve and how we can help them. That means when you come into our program, you want to create your unique value proposition first so that you have something that may be valuable to the right buyer or seller so that they raise their hand and want maybe to have something what you are giving away in return for their email or for their phone number. So that is where we, our goal number two is we want to build an offer so that we can build relationships and pull out the people that are ready now. And people ready now are only two to three percent, especially when we are running lead generation to a cold audience. So we have two places where we can run. So we attract and build awareness with our goal number one. And we are doing this to a cold audience. 
And we also can test our offer or send out a lead generation where we will only have two to three percent that are ready now. So keep that in mind that you are now can stop collecting name, number, and email and build your list or build your relationship. And that is where the most misconception comes in. We are now people think everybody, when I do a lead generation, everybody wants to buy or sell now. And that is not the case. We know 62 to 67 touch points before they even recognize us or raise their hand that they probably want to work with us. So in real estate, we know it's between six to eight months before they are ready to transact. Always keep that in mind. And that's where our goal number three comes in, where we want to stop retargeting. And we are retargeting everybody's life we touch. If it is with lead generation, if they watch our videos, now we want to have a nurture sequence in place and a follow-up sequence in place. And that means that we are now going back to all the people we reach. That means now, and our C is where we stop creating conversations that turn into closing. And that simply is our ABC strategy where we want to build first awareness, then we want to build relationships and then we want to start conversation that converts into closing. And you don't want to step or overstep any step. You don't want to miss it. So many of you are going right to lead generation. They are talking to an audience. They don't know who you are and what you do. And the worst is you don't have a follow up in place and leave so much money on the table even if those people who visit this website or your lead generation and didn't sign up, you are able to retarget and nurture them through the process. So you have your buying or selling process and you want to make sure that you are nurture the people through the process and understand when they are ready. And when you keep in front of all these people, now this is a set it and forget it. Now you are able to effectively market and lead generate in your market. And at the same time, you will be known as the to-go agent. And that's where it comes in our D strategy, where we now can build strategies to dominate the market. So our strategy number A or goal number one is to build awareness and um, attract the people we want to work with. Our goal number two is we want to build relationships and build a list or we want to uh, build a list of people that uh, is ready to buy or sell now. And we want to build a list with people that are now taking a little bit longer in the process, but we are able to follow up and nurture. And the best thing in one day are in your online system, and that is all built on one platform. It doesn't matter which one you are using, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok. You can create this on every platform so that you are staying top of mind that people don't forget about you. And you can accompany this by email marketing when you are getting their name, number, and email. But you want to set this up as your ecosystem so that people understand who you are, how you can help them. And when they are ready, they will reach out to you. And that becomes a set it and forget it system. The only thing when we have everything set up now is we want to be better. We want to lower our advertising. We want to create different unique value proposition because we have different buyer and seller. So we want to put different offers out. And then that is where we are starting over again and putting new offers out, building our ecosystem so that we are always have new people coming in, going to our ecosystem until they are ready to buy or sell. 
And if you want to, if you want, uh, if you want to step, uh, skip one of those steps, your ecosystem no longer works. You will lose uh, the ability to follow up. So when you are coming into our program, the first thing is we are building our unique value proposition. At the same time, we are starting already building our audience and also want to start our follow-up and our nurture system. So that is how any advertising works. You have three goals, build awareness, build a list, and stay top of mind so that you can start a conversation with the people that are already in your ecosystem. So I hope now you understand. You can follow step by step. We are walking you through, but don't go and just go for lead generation. I promise you, your advertising will not work. And I see it over and over again. There are people saying, oh, my leads don't uh, turn out to be anything because you have the wrong expectation. Here, you are going after the two to 3% of people that are ready now. But don't forget the 97% you are able to nurture through the process so when they are ready that you come in mind. So hope that's helpful. Reach out to me with any question.